And I'm an executive producer, and what we do is we write checks and try to stay out of the way. Okay? Robert is a great writer, he's a great producer, he's a great director, and he hires great people, cast and crew. And then my job is to stand back and let good people do their jobs. And it's been great to work on these two films because even though they're comedies, there's a very serious message in both of them. And I, I believe that all good comedies have a message. The original film really had a message that taught us how our relationship with God should not be. In the second film, Heavens to Betsy 2, we really learn what our relationship with God should be. She, in order to get commercial success, starts denying Christ and starts denying the truth. The other day I went to a party with Anne to promote my book. And of course there were a lot of people there associated with the mainstream market. So Anne told me that I needed to keep the faith aspects of my book out of conversations with others. And? I did what she told me to do. She realizes it, to her credit. In fact, at one point she says to Pastor John, Pretty much denied my faith and being a Christian. Three times. Three times, huh? It was a bit like Peter. Just as St. Peter, the scared little rabbit who ran off after denying Christ, ends up, after the Holy Spirit descends on him, and ends up going into the, the uh, city square and starts preaching, and they throw him in prison and say, if you keep this up, you're going to die. And eventually he is crucified and arrogantly tells them, crucify me upside down. I'm not worthy of being crucified like Christ. Betsy also faces this, maybe not... You know, it's not life or death for her, but it is for her career because she's going to have to stand up for the truth. How big of a part did your real experiences play in creating a work of fiction? It's not fiction. Sorry? It's not fiction. Everything that happened in that book really happened. And now she faces this crisis, this trial by fire, if you will, where she's going to have to face this television reporter who probably will ruin her career and try and make her look like a fool. But she has faith that by standing up for God, God will give her the words. That reminds me of when I was talking with Robert Alanese, the director, and he said, I don't know how I'm going to make a, uh, a sequel to Heavens to Betsy 1. And I said, I have faith that you're going to find the words. Because if there's one thing we've learned from Heavens to Betsy 2 is that if you stand up for God, he will give you the words. Robert's films just keep getting better and better. He's getting better technical quality because he's using state-of-the-art equipment, but he also, the, the actors, with every single film, the actors have gotten better. Robert is doing films that are not just good faith-based films, they're good films. Yeah. I remember sitting in a theater and watching one of his films, and I'm going, this is as good as anything they have in Hollywood. Yeah. It's not just a sequel. Uh, if all we did was remake the first film, I wouldn't have even wanted to be involved in it. But the first film asked questions and answered those questions, and now the second film is asking different questions. And not only that, but giving us answers to some questions the audience probably had in the first film, like the relationship between Betsy and her sister. I also don't know what you guys are going to do, so just do it! was never properly resolved in the first film and we really needed to re-examine it in the second film and we do and I'll tell you you're going to need a box of tissues when you see it.